Hi, in this video I'll be showing you this. It's the Bosch BCHF 216 GB Cordless Vacuum Cleaner. And what I want to do today is to show you around the vacuum some of the features and benefits that it offers. Just before I start, all I'd normally say is please subscribe to my YouTube channel, just give us a quick thumbs up. What I do is I talk about household appliances. I do specialise in cordless vacuums like these and there's normally a bit of tech in there as well. So once you've got everything unboxed, then you're left with three pieces of the vacuum and all you need to do is just pop them together. It is really easy. Uh, first of all, you've got the main floor head and all you need to do is just pop that in. That just clips into place. Uh, you will find if you did need to take it apart, then just press the clip in and the main floor head will come out. It is normally a little bit stiff, especially when it's brand new, but you don't want it to be too easy. Otherwise, you could find that the floor head could fall off when you vacuum it. So that just clips into place and is quite a nice clunky, clicky sound there. And then the next part is the handle to go on top. Uh, this clearly is a case of just popping the handle on there. Uh, but what you do need to do is there is a separate screw just to hold the handle in place. So just around the back here, you've just got the, the hole in there. And all you need to do is just get a, just get a screwdriver, normally quite a large flathead screwdriver. And that just screws into there, like that. And just a couple of turns. Doesn't have to be tight. That's it. And then that's basically the, the vacuum all set up and ready to go. Uh, the only thing you will need to do is, first of all, when you get the vacuum, is to give it a good charge. Uh, they do have some charge in it, but we'd normally recommend giving it a good charge for about three or four hours. Once you've done that, then you're ready to start vacuuming. Bosch made quite a large range of vacuum cleaners nowadays. Uh, the range keeps on increasing. Uh, even I struggle to keep up with some of the, the models and the ranges that they offer. Uh, but as far as the range is, so Bosch will offer quite a few different levels of vacuum cleaners. Uh, they've got models like the, the Athlet that's been around for years. Uh, then they've got the Flexo. Uh, this is part of what they call the, the Ready range. If you do know what that means, ready with a couple of wires at the end. Uh, if it means something in another language, then just pop it in the comments because I'd be interested to know. Uh, but basically, this is one of the starting models in the range, the BCHF216. Uh, with this one, as it shows on here, it's a 16 volt vacuum. And on this model, you can get around 40 minutes runtime, which is actually pretty good. Uh, I think most people buying these are using them more as top-up cleaners rather than main vacuum cleaners. Uh, clearly, it is going to depend on the, the size of the, the flat or the house that you're in or apartment. Uh, if you are in a, a big house, then something like this might not be suitable uh, because although it says 40 minute runtime, uh, you have got different power selectors at the top here. So I'll just show you that. So you could hear that it goes from zero, one and two. Just show you that again. So that's the minimum suction. And then that's the, the high power suction. So on number one, then you should be able to achieve the 40 minute run time. As you go up to power level two, that's really where you've got the high suction. Uh, you won't get 40 minutes. Uh, you might be looking probably around 10, 15 minutes on that. Uh, but it can also make a difference on the surface that you vacuum it on. So if you're vacuuming on things like uh, say a lino floor or a hard floor tiles, then you could find that the uh, the runtime does improve, uh, especially compared to carpets. So if it's a thick pile carpet, then sometimes the vacuums can struggle a little bit. Um, and also you will find that the runtime is reduced because clearly there's a lot more friction there. So even though you have got a good runtime of up to 40 minutes, at some point you are going to need to charge it. Uh, on this model, it does come with a just a standard charger. So it's just a a standard plug-in charger, there's no wall mount or anything. Uh, because these are freestanding, so that, that's what I do like about a lot of the Bosch products. Um, quite a few other brands, they have to either go into a wall bracket uh, or they struggle to freestand on their own. Uh, but that's something I do like about the Bosch products, that you're not limited to a certain area in your house. Uh, this is part of the reason we do so well with a lot of the Bosch range. And then to charge it, all you need to do is just pop the charger in the back there that just pops in like that. And as I said earlier, um, if it is completely flat, ideally just leave it for about three or four hours to fully charge. So I did mention something about the Athlet range that Bosch also make. 
Uh, one thing that puts people off buying some of those models is that if you wanted to use the tools that come with a vacuum, sometimes it can be really awkward uh, to put the tools and the hose onto the vacuum if you want to, say, vac just go and vacuum the stairs. What Bosch have done is they've made it really easy on this range, so on the Ready range, and also the Flexo models as well, by incorporating a two-in-one concept into the vacuum. And what I mean by that is that, as well as having the normal vacuum cleaner, if you press this button, then you have got this handheld part of it as well. Now, it doesn't come with any tools or accessories on this model. If you did want some other accessories, then really you need to go a little bit higher in the range. Uh, personally, I'd recommend having a look at some of the Flexo models, uh, because some of those models are, are really good with a similar concept. Uh, also, the weight of it isn't too different. Uh, just while I'm talking about the weight, uh, on this model you're looking around 2.4 kilograms. As you go up to some of the higher end models, like the Flexo models, you're looking a little bit more. It's normally about 3 or 3.1 kilograms. So if it's really lightweight you're after, then this is one to consider. Uh, but on this one, then you have got the on and off switch on the handheld part as well. So you have only got the one setting, whereas on the main handle you have got the two different settings. Then on this you've only got the one. Uh, when it comes to emptying the bin, then you, all you need to do is just press the button on the front there. And this bin is uh, clearly forms part of the main vacuum as well. So it just makes it a lot easier. So if you're going to go and empty the bin outside, because sometimes if you're, say, asthmatic or if you suffer from dust allergies, you don't really want to be emptying the bin inside, then it just makes life a little bit easier. Uh, you can just take the bin off and then go outside. You have got the filter at the top here and you've just got this cheeky little red handle on the front here. Just pull that out and then the whole filter unit will come out. As far as the bin capacity, you're looking around 0.4 litres. Uh, so it's not the biggest on the market, but I think really for the purpose of this vacuum, then really that is big enough. Uh, what you will find clearly is you go to bigger bin capacities, then the whole of the vacuum is a lot bigger and that normally means it's a little bit heavier as well. As far as the filter on here, that's easy to, to take out. You've got a, a little indicator just on the front there to show you to pull that. Uh, and again, this is this forms two parts. In here, you've got the, the foam filter and you've got the main part of the filter on the inside here. Uh, this is all washable. So if, if you've watched any of my other cleaning videos on YouTube, then I'm quite an advocate of uh, sort of stripping a lot of the vacuums down, giving them a good clean. Uh, then putting them back together. The only thing I would say is if you do wash this or when you wash this uh, that should be quite priority um, when it comes to maintaining and using the vacuum because you will find if you don't clean the filter then the suction really really reduces. Um, it's almost like you you know recently we've been wearing the, the masks a lot. Um, I know a lot of people have, have struggled to breathe in them. I know I certainly have. Um, and it's almost like that. If you've, if you've got a mask or if you're wearing a couple of masks then you struggle to breathe. Exactly the same with not cleaning your filter. Uh, the only thing I do say, and I say it in all my videos, is once you've washed the filter, make sure it's completely dry before you put it back in the vacuum. Uh, if you don't, then if you put it in when it's even slightly damp, there is a good chance that you could damage the vacuum. If you get water going through the motor or through the electrics, then it will damage it. Unfortunately, that won't be covered under the manufacturer's warranty which on these models is actually two years, so that's pretty good as well. Um, what I would normally recommend with any vacuum, uh, it doesn't matter whether it's cordless or not, is to buy a spare filter when you buy the vacuum. I know some people think, well, that's, that's a bit odd. Why do I need to buy a spare filter? Uh, but the main advantage is if you buy the spare filter, then once you've washed this one, and that's on the side uh, drying, which can take around 24, possibly 48 hours to dry completely, then it means you're not without the vacuum. And what you can do is once that's drying, then you can pop the other one in the vacuum straight away. And then once you've done that, then all you need to do is just pop the filter back in there. And then this will just drop back in the top there. Uh, there's nothing else to do. So you just need to make sure that it's all lined up properly. Uh, just one, I suppose, tip. When you do clean hair, um, I do say when you do clean, because it is recommended to, to keep the bin nice and clean as well. Uh, just make sure that around the edge here, that's free of any dirt or dust. Because you can find if, the, if there's little bits of dirt or dust around there, if it's not sealing properly, then again, that can have quite a, a big impact on the suction of the vacuum. Uh, and then you, all you need to do is just locate that at the bottom. 
So you just, you've got a little hook on the side there, click that on, you'll hear it click into place, and then you've got the, the vacuum all ready to go. While I'm talking about cleaning and maintaining the vacuum, uh, just under here, just show you that. So you've got the, the brush roller here, and clearly at some point, you are probably going to need to take the brush roller out to give it a good clean. Uh, just on the front here, you have got the a little latch on the side. So I'll just show you how easy that is to take it out. So you just take the, take the brush out like that. And then all you need to do is, if you want to take off hairs or, so if you've got say pets or if you've got other, uh, say hairy family members, uh, which I've certainly have got a couple at home, then all you need to do, if you just get a knife or a pair of scissors, just be really careful when doing this though. Uh, just slide it along there. And then that just really, really helps to get off the, the hairs that have been wrapped around this. Uh, Bosch have been doing that for years, uh, even going back to the original uh, Athlet cordless vacuum cleaners. And I'm really pleased that they still do this. It just makes life so much easier, um, just having the ability to just slide a knife or a sharp pair of scissors along the side here. And then once you've done that, then that just slides back in and clips back into place. Again, that concept they've done for a long time on their cordless vacuums. And I'm really pleased they're still stuck with it uh, because you'll find that some brands, you have to turn it upside down. Uh, you have to get a coin or a screwdriver to take the whole base plate off just to get the brush roller out. If you are thinking of buying one of these models, I have provided a link below to show you where to get one at a competitive price. I hope you enjoyed this quick video on the Bosch BCHF 216 GB cordless vacuum cleaner. All I'd normally say is please subscribe to my YouTube channel and leave any comments below on the video, whether you liked it or not, whether there's something that I've missed. Uh, you might have come to watch this video thinking I was going to cover something on it. And if I haven't, then just pop it in the comments. Or if you have got any questions on the vacuum, again, just pop it in the comments and I'll get back to you. If you have got one of these models, either this model in particular, or one of the Ready Range, or even one of the Flexo models, because the designs are very similar, then let me know what you think about it. Be honest about it. Uh, because some of the feedback we get we do send back to Bosch and it can help them in the future with some of their designs. Anyway, thanks for watching.